Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you how to install NetHunter on a OnePlus A Pro Unlock model. This will be my first uh, video in uh, the ethical hacking series. So if you think it's helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like and stay tuned for more video. Alright, step one, we need to download the preview image from the official NetHunter download page. Alright, it's gonna be mobile. And we're gonna look for one plus a and we're gonna download that file. All right, now that we have a downloaded file, the next step is to verify the checksum to make sure that we have a good file. So we we'll click on the sum. All right, the next step is to open up a terminal. And we're gonna tap in the NHA two five six sum space, and then we're gonna open up the folder that we download the uh, NetHunter, and we're gonna track that file into the terminal and enter. So the checksum for the file that you downloaded on the computer is matching the checksum provided by. Um, the website so you have a good file uh, if it didn't match you should re-download the file the next step is to unlock your device bootloader in order to do that you have to put your device in uh, developer mode and depend what kind of device you have uh, for the tutorial we'll be unlocking the unlock model if uh, you have the one for t-mobile you would follow uh, the official guide on uh, oneplus page uh, to unlock your bootloader uh, I will be including the link in the descriptions alright in order to put your Android device in developer mode from your Android mobile device you would uh, go to setting you would go to about device and you will select versions you would tap on the bill number seven times and now you are in the developer mode and then we would go back under additional setting you would go to developer options and we will enable OEM unlocking and we would also enable USB debugging the next step you will need to install the ADP or Android Debug Bridge tool. Um, you can follow the tutorial on the XDA developer uh, website. I'll be including the link in the descriptions. Uh, if you're using a Windows or Mac OS, for this tutorial, we'll be using a uh, Linux. All right. So for Linux, you have two options. One, you can download the zip file, or the second one, uh, you can in install the package directly from uh, terminal so we're gonna go ahead and open up terminal and it's gonna be a sudo app install android dash sdk dash platform tools and look like I actually have a android sdk installed on my system already so the next step would be unlocking, roosting, and installing a custom recovery on your Android device. We will need a TWRP custom recovery. Uh, in order to do that, we will head over to uh, TWRP official website. And from there, we're gonna select an uh, XDA developer. And they included an instruction on how to do it on uh, Windows and as well as on uh, Linux. So we're gonna download the uh, flashable image the number one and number two all right now that we have both uh, file downloaded the next step we're gonna copy this command right here to create a path to the platform tools next step you will connect your android mobile device and you select file transfer android auto when uh, prompt 
and then you would allow uh, USB debugging. Next, we will put the device into the fast boot mode. So we're gonna run the ADP DSY command. And if you see the serial listed, it would mean that your phone uh, connected to your uh, Linux computer. And next, we're gonna reboot the phone into uh, fast boot mode using the ADP reboot bootloader command. Your phone screen should display a uh, fast boot mode now. Uh, next, we're gonna use the fast boot command and devices. And now we see your device in a uh, fast boot mode. Uh, keep in mind, if you unlock your device, it will erase all the data currently on your mobile device. So unless you already back up your data or you don't need that data, uh, do not continue to the next step. Next, we will use the fast boot command to uh, OEM unlock the bootloader. So the command going to be uh, fast boot OEM unlock. Again, after you run this command, it will erase everything on your phone. So we'll see with caution. So on your mobile uh, device, it's going to ask you if whether you want to unlock the bootloader or you do not uh, want to unlock the bootloader. So you the volume down key to select uh, unlock the bootloader and uh, press the power key to select uh, that option and your phone should be uh, restarting after that after your device restart it should say your device have been unlocked and can be trusted your phone may restart several times after it restart you um, go through the initial setup again you can skip connect to uh, Wi-Fi and uh, log in into your Google account and you can skip the login as well the next step is to re-enable the developer mode on your mobile device. So from your mobile device, you would select setting and uh, about device versions and tap on the build number seven time. And you are now in uh, developer mode. We need to go back one more time and we go to uh, additional settings and uh, under developer options as you see the OEM unlocking the bootloader is unlocked that's why the option is ray out and next we're going to go down to USB debugging enable and OK then we'll select a file transfer and you would allow uh, USB debugging now we are going to use the ADP device command to make sure that uh, our mobile device connected to our Linux system and yes it is and in order to uh, flash the recovery image we need to be in a uh, fast boot so we need to use the ADP reboot bootloader command one more time your phone screen should show that uh, you're in a fast boot mode and we're gonna run the fast boot command device To make sure that uh, it's connected to our Linux system. The next step is to flash the recovery A and B into our uh, mobile device. So we're going to use the fast boot flash recovery underscore A and we are going to track the first file that we downloaded and the name it should be with the ext4 and enter. Next we're gonna flash the recovery B. So the command gonna be a fast boot and flash recovery underscore B. And then same thing we're gonna track the second file EROFS and enter. After that we're gonna reboot our device using the fast boot reboot command so the next step would be to uh, 
download and flash the magis not sure I said it right so from your mobile device you would uh, download the APK app open and we're gonna install magis okay and next step we're gonna reboot into a fa uh, fast boot recovery so we're gonna use the command ADP reboot recovery hmm. might have to reconnect my phone let me check and see if they're reconnected ADP devices all right so now it's connected we're going to use the command adp reboot recovery once your phone reboot you should see a twrp so we're going to select uh, install and from there we're going to select uh, magus apk and you know flash it when it finished it should be automatically restart so when it restart we're gonna open up the magus app again and select ok to uh, install additional requirement and we select the direct install which is recommended and reboot next step is to copy the nethunter file that we download at the beginning so I'm going to go to uh, download and I'm going to copy the net hunter zip file and we're gonna put it in under download and now run your mobile device we're gonna open up uh, magus again and we head over to mojo's and we're gonna select install room storage and we're gonna select the net hunter and we're gonna select OK. The whole process could take up to um, 20, 25 to 30 minutes. When it's done, we're gonna reboot it. And after reboot, we should have a net hunter install. We're gonna open up a net hunter. And we can run super user to NetHunter. We're gonna start Kali root. When I go to setting, and we're gonna check and install. We're gonna run permission. Allow. And we have a NetHunter app as well. We're gonna update the NetHunter. Allow apps from this source. Update. We're going to install it anyway. And that would be it for today's video. If you think this uh, video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like and stay tuned for more video on uh, Kali Linux NetHunter. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.